Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Atus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add an FAQ page on Shopify. But before we start, hurry up and check out our daily software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we add an FAQ page on our Shopify website? Well, adding one is actually pretty simple, but we first need to discuss how pages and templates actually works in Shopify. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to our Shopify admin page. So go to shopify.com, log in into account and access your store. Now from here, you want to go to online store. And from here, you want to go to pages. Now, in this case, typically when you create a page by clicking on the add page at the top right of the screen that you have right now, you have the option to add a title as well as the content here. So just to give you an idea here, so I'm going to actually add a FAQ title here. So you should be able to also add content here. For example, I'm just going to say sample F F A Q. Now you now need to choose our template. Now with all websites or all uh, templates or teams that you have on Shopify, they all have a default page. So if you choose this one, you have the option to change a few things. Like for example, you have the option to add content into it. But if you want to change a few things on the actual uh, page, so if you actually edit it via team section, which I'll be showing you later on, it will be kind of hard. So let's go ahead and click on save. Now, from here, for you to view your website or your page here, what we need to do is we just need to click on the view page. Now, it should show you FAQ in sample FAQ. But what if we want to add like collapse, collapsible um, pages or, for example, collapsible sections, which in this case will actually reveal the FAQ or the questions or the answers for that specific question. So it will be kind of different here because uh, with this uh, type of uh, way is you only have the option to add like basic text and images into it because we are using a template here, which is the default one. So anything that you change within the default page template here will also be affecting all the pages that is using or all the pages that you already created using the default page here will also have that specific change applied to them, which is we do not want that. So we want a specific one that we could customize for our um, FAQ page here. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and delete this one first. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Click on actions here, click on delete page and click on delete page. Now let's go to teams here under online store. And from here, let's go ahead and click on customize. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to actually uh, add a new template. So at the top section, you should be able to see the homepage section. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to the pages section here. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to click on the create a template option here. Since we already have the default one, we want to have a specific one here. So for example, I'm going to actually base the uh, template that we're creating, or creating right now from the default page that we already have right now. Now, in this case, we are going to name this as FAQ template. From here, let's go ahead and click on create template. Now, in this case, once you've created that, let's go ahead and uh, go to our previous pages. So let's just go ahead and click on exit at the top left. From here, let's go to pages again. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the add page at the top right. Now from here, let's go ahead and add FAQ here, or let's just say this is going to be frequently asked questions. Let's go ahead and complete this one. And uh, from here, so make sure it, that you actually uh, correctly spell this one, questions. So let's just complete the spelling here. So in this case, we now need to add a few things here. So if you want to add text here, but I recommend you to, to not add any text here to not affect the actual template. So we added a title here, that's good. Let's go and choose the theme template here. Let's go and choose FAQ template. Now from here, let's go and click on save. Now, once you've done that, let's go ahead and go back into our homepage here. Let's go and go to online store. And from here, let's go and click on customize again. Now from here, let's go and switch over to the template that we just created. So let's just go ahead and go to our pages and we want to choose FAQ template. Now, as you can see, we now have the frequently asked questions section here. So what we need to do is we just need to add a section here. Let's go and click on the add section. And from here, let's go ahead and add a collapsible one here. So in this case, it's going to be collapsible content. And from here, you could go and add whatever you want. 
So if you want to further customize your collapsible content here, you can go ahead and click on it. And at the right side here, you have the option to add captions, the heading for it. So let's just say, uh, what, uh, what are your questions? Let's just say it is the uh, top section here. And uh, from here, once you've added that, like you go ahead and change the heading size, the heading segment, left or right here. Let's go ahead and make this in the left section. And from here, you can change the color scheme if you want to, add images and image ratio here, uh, desktop layout, and all, all of those uh, specific things. So in this case, let's go and choose the collapsible row here. Now, in this case, in the collapsible row, we have the option to uh, change the icon. So maybe check mark here, clipboard, diary, or whatever. So you can choose a box as well if you want to. So go ahead and choose your uh, icon. So I'm going to choose the default one here, which is going to be the checkbox here that we actually uh, have before. Now you can go ahead and add your row content here. So for example, this is the first answer, answer for this question. So let's just add it in here. And from here, uh, we could go and change the heading as well. So for example, what is this website? As you can see, we now have our content here. So in this case, you can even add a, a specific page for this one. So row content from page if you want to use it. But for now, we are good for this one. Let's go ahead and click on save at the top, right? Just to give you some idea here, we're going to add another one. So this is going to be, uh, what is the second content? So obviously you could add your own questions here, but I'm just going to add an example here, example one here. So for example, this is the second question. Now from here, let's go ahead and uh, see the actual look for it on the actual website, but we also need to add this into our navigation. So let's go and click on save at the top right here. And from here, let's go and click on exit at the top left. Now, what we need to do next is we need to go to navigation and under navigation, we need to go to main menu. And from here, we want to add our FAQ. Let's go and click on add new menu item here. Just type in FAQ. From here, we want to choose a page here. Let's go to pages. And from here, let's go and choose frequently asked questions. From here, let's go and click on the add button at the bottom right. From here, you could position this anywhere you want. So if you want to have this as the main navigation as well, you could go and do that. Or if you want to put this under a specific navigation, you could go and do this as well. So I'm going to put this, put this under home. Let's go and click on save menu at the bottom right here. Let's go and visit our store just to give you an idea here. So in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to go to home here, click on it, click on FAQ, and you should now be able to see your FAQ page. This case, uh, that's how you create your own FAQ page for your Shopify store. Remember, all the steps that we did before are really important because if you do not do this or if you miss any steps that we did before, you this page might not work properly or it might also destroy all the, all the pages that you've already created for your shop. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.